Hey, what's going on everybody? Full Furniture today bringing you all a Clash Mini video and in today's video we have a maxed out Royal Champion. Yes, we got it in the shop. Super excited to play with this. And this is the deck that I've been rocking. I'm still learning um, different placement strategies and everything like that. I don't know if this is the best deck just yet. But this is my thought process. The real champion is going to be the hard carry in this deck. So I want it to stay alive as long as possible. So I have all melee units. You can see I have no other range units outside of the royal champion. And it it works okay. It's I'm not sold that this is the best deck. But I'm also still learning all the placements and everything like that versus various champions. So there is a strong possibility that this is a... This is the deck, and I'm just not playing it correctly yet, so we're going to talk about it in today's video. I'm going to show you some gameplay, and we're going to be going through and playing the maxed out Royal Champion. So, uh, this guy does have a level 10 Countess, which is very strong. He is going to also be targeting... Ooh, yes, we got the bounce. Nice. Okay. So we did get the combo off there. Was able to take down the archer. Very nice. So let's do... Let's rock with this. He does have the archer. So I probably want to start building out the miner. I'm going to throw the barbarian down just in case. Also, we do, we do want this P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. is going to be very crucial. It's a very crucial to have in the first two rounds. You should definitely have your Mega Knight, and your P.E.K.K.A. if you're playing this deck. Now, the Countess should go over to the Miner, which it did. Now, it's going to come over to our Royal Champion. And now, it's going to dash over to the P.E.K.K.A., but we should be able to take this down. We have plenty of utility. He does get the Countess uh, feed off onto our Royal Champion, but the P.E.K.K.A., again, at too healthy. Wasn't able to connect with the Spear Goblin, so our P.E.K.K.A. and Mega Knight were very healthy. I'm not sure why he play, he didn't play it against the uh, Healing Tile. But now, because he did not, I'm actually going to play it like this. We're going to go with the Miner here. Um, I'm going to go with the Guard for the Shield Up. And we're going to go with the Miner for Cleave. If they have range units, I think it's going to be super important to prioritize backstab and cleave while going up against these types of units. Because as you can see, Archer's already down, the Spear Goblin is already down, Pekka just went down, and now we're only focusing on the Countess, and this should be a quick and clean 3-0 victory over a maxed out Countess. So that one was pretty good. I feel like my placement, my prioritization, my roles worked out pretty well for me there. If you're not able to get a two-star miner at round three, depending on the range units that they have, I would probably say that it's important to have um, a level two guard and maybe a level one barbarian or zero and a uh, one-star mega knight. Let me... Uh, he's going I'm just going to throw the guard out. I didn't know if I wanted the Miner, but we're going to go P.E.K.K.A. I probably should have went with it. But actually, this is going to be okay, because we're going to be able to kill that in one, and then we're just going to take that down. Boom. Easy money. So let's do this. We want... Now we probably want the Miner. Um, we're going to go with the Backstab. And then I think I want to sell this guard and go with the Mega Knight. Again, round two priority. Having that P.E.K.K.A., having that Mega Knight is going to be very, very important because they are very tanky units. So we actually did get the stun off that. It is going to go to the Ice Wiz, which works very well in our favor because that Royal Champion was able to chain so well right there. That was very, very nice. So, let's throw the world champion here. Um, I have to assume that he's going to play the heal, or the electric tile. So, let's get a guard down, and then we're actually just going to go for the three-star miner here. Doesn't play the electric tile. But this is fine, because we have the cleave. 
so this is a very yeah this is big Pekka's gonna get the swing in quick 3-0 not even worried about it very quick 3-0 there was not able to get much done all right so let's hop in our game three here I think we've actually played a different champion every match so far and I haven't cut anything like this is not let's try to go with the mirror tile here and I think I want to force it to the right hopefully the barbarian doesn't get dashed on by a prince it doesn't he does have minor though oh the wizard too oh my goodness oh nice nice mirrored world champion did come a little bit clutch there but I don't think we're gonna be able to get away with that again let's go with the guard it's better to probably have two bodies than one back there I'm gonna bring the miner just in case we don't get the P.E.K.K.A. we do get the P.E.K.K.A. so I'm also going to have the P.E.K.K.A. here I'm gonna trap the P.E.K.K.A. in the corner so that way it is a little bit slower to come out because we do want that miner focusing onto the P.E.K.K.A. Nice. Royal Champion Shield pops off. Very, very nice. Okay. I have played against this deck before and I lost 3-0 last time. And I didn't make this adjustment. So this adjustment was not in play last time. Now I don't want him to get the mirror tile. So we're going to do this again, but we're going to go to this side. And this time we're going to go with the miner. And we actually do get a two-star miner. So we're going to get the backstab and that cleave. Again, really important to prioritize those when he has ranged units. So he's going to be focusing on the archer and that wizard, which is going to be very crucial. Pekka is able to catch the miner. We do take the wizard down. Our Pekka not looking super healthy. But now that our Pekka is down, we should have the advantage here. And we do. And we're able to get another 3-0. Now, I'm, I'm going to go... I'm going to push my luck here. We're going to roll again uh, for another matchup. And see if this time we go up against a Barbarian King. Oh, we play, we're playing against Rafa again. This is the person we played at the first, uh, first match in the video. But it's okay. We don't have any Barb King matchups in this video. Uh, but we'll have more in the future. So, uh, I'm actually going to play the Royal Champion up high with the Barbarian in the back. Just to make sure that that Barbarian is not going to get caught out. And it actually takes the aggro of the Archer. Which I would much, much rather. Oh, the Countess teleported before we could get the uh, the bounce off onto that Archer. But it's okay. We're still able to clean up nice and easily. So we're gonna go minor here, and I want that Mega Knight. We do, we need the Mega Knight. Mega Knight is a huge priority. I'm actually gonna do this because I wanna make sure the Barbarian is targeted. He actually gets rid of the Archer, brings a Mega Knight P.E.K.K.A combo out himself. Mega Knight gets the jump. Countess gets taken down by the Royal Champion Spear. Alright. So, for this one, the question is, does he bring a ranged unit back, or should I be, be prioritizing the guard? I think we're going to try to prioritize the guard here. So, we're going to go for the shield up, we're going to get the reroll, and now we're going to get the cast. And we're going to bring the guard closer to the front. Barbarian going to be able to focus onto that miner. Oh, pop off! Royal champion pops off to end the video. You love it. You love to see it. Nice little four win streak there. So, I mean, hey, I do like this deck. 
it's really good i don't think i've mastered this deck and i still don't even know i i don't have that feeling that like wow this deck is insanely good it's literally one of the best decks you can pro possibly have with the royal champion i don't think so i think i'm missing something and we're just gonna keep coming back to it we're gonna keep theory crafting until we find the best deck with the royal champion but hey this deck is pretty good again when they have a minor pekka barbarian guard any of those to the back to keep that royal champion alive having that mega knight up front i think it's going to be important to prioritize again if they have range units you want to prioritize the upgrade on the minor if they don't have range units and they have like a minor prince you want to prioritize upgrades on the barbarian slash guard either one of those two whichever one you're getting more of and also if you can the mega knight the mega knight gets plus six health every time you level it up and that extra radius and the plus two seconds on stun duration is super helpful so if you can get those those would also be insanely helpful especially at level two mega knight you're going to have 27 health. That is going to be a beefy boy for the takedown. But that is going to do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you haven't checked out the Small Cup video, make sure you check that video out on my channel. We're going to be playing in the tournament tomorrow. Uh, stream is going to start at 2 p.m. Eastern, so make sure you're on Twitch.tv slash Full Frontage and in my Discord to register for the tournament. And the matches are going to start at 3 p.m. Eastern. And also the next video is going to be my tier list for this update. So be on the lookout for that. And hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more Clash Mini videos. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace out.